All right. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Crozier, and I've been asked to give some help on the quiz. So what I'm going to do for you here is we have our quiz uh, 4.1 to 4.3 on Monday. And what we're going to do is there are going to be eight questions on the quiz. And in this video, I'm going to show you seven of the questions. So I'm going to help uh, narrow the problems you need to study. There are seven questions you need to know for the quiz that I'm going to show you, and then there's going to be one question that I pick um, from the other packet, or this packet also. So seven questions I'm going to go through right now that are on your quiz out of eight. Hopefully this will help you study and be prepared. First question you need to know is how to find right Riemann sums when you have an equation. So in this equation here, I, I have this equation, which is y equals um, x cubed plus 1 square root. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area. I'm going to approximate it with four Riemann sums. And we're going to do equal sub width. So if I'm going to find my delta x, my delta x is 7 minus 3 divided by 4. So that's just 1. So if you notice here, it's a rather easy one. I'm just going to go count by ones. So that right there is going to give me my four rectangles. I have a rectangle between these two, these two, these two, and these two. So now I'm going to do my lengths and my widths. Well, all of my widths here are one. Now my length is I need the height of this function from the right. So I'm going to use these right Riemann sum values. Well, to get them, if you have your calculator here, if you set up your table to ask, and you put in the table 4, 5, 6, 7, those are your four outputs. Those are the heights of your rectangle. So I have my inputs, my outputs, and now I can go length, width, or sorry, width, length, width, length, width, length, width, length. Add them all up. The area is 52.5. That's four right Riemann sums. So make sure you know how to do this whatever your delta x here. And remember delta x is delta x is b minus a divided by n. All right, the other thing you need to know how to do is same thing, but on number 6, what we're going to do here on number 6 is we're going to find the area from 2 to 15 using trapezoids. So there's my four, just like this one I have 1 2 3 4 lines these are rectangles, now I have four trapezoids. And the formula for a trapezoid, if you don't know, is one half height base one plus base two. So I have one half times a height. Now, in this problem, we've already have a table, we already have a table created for us. So we just have to say, look, the width here is three. This width, again, delta x, b minus a divided by n. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 5 is 1. 11 minus 6 is 5. 15 minus 11 is 4. And then we do the parts for the bases. First one, second one. Second one, third one. 6, 4. 4, 7. Bring the 7 down. And we can do all the trapezoids and add it up. So make sure you know how to do Riemann sums from a table, and if you don't have a tab table, correct your own. All right, next thing you want to be able to do is write this summation notation. Again, it comes from this basic formula. This basic formula needs to turn into this. It is 1 to 25 of 2 plus my x sub i x sub i is a plus delta x i. And delta x, again, is b minus a over n. So there's my formula, 2x plus 4. 2x plus 4. And then be careful when you use your calculator. If you want to type this in your calculator, you hit math. You go down to the summation notation. Whoops. You hit math. You go down to the summation notation. You be very careful. And you use the i to 1 to 25 of 2 parentheses 3 plus 5, use the i, 
divided by 25 plus 4. And then I always recommend you just put your delta x on the outside. And there's everything you need to know. There's 2x plus 4, delta x. And notice there's a 25, 25, 25. There's a 5 over 25, 5 over 25, press enter. And it's going to add up all 25 rectangles for you and get 76. So you need to know summation notation. Uh, number 10, you need to know how to find areas with a function given a graph. So in this case, I'm being told to go from negative 4 to 2. So I put that 2 right there. That 2 goes at the top. And then just, I just integrate from 4 to negative 2. I just find this area right here. Well, I could do a Riemann sum, but I don't, I don't have a formula, so I can't do summation. I don't have a formula, so I can't make a table. But easier than all of that is I have a graph. And from negative 4 to 10, it is a trapezoid. So you can go ahead and just do the trapezoid here and use the trapezoid formula to find that. So again, we're doing area with Riemann sums, with tables, with area. All right, and yeah, you need to know how to do number 12. 12 is the ones where they're going to give you an integral, and they're going to give you another integral, and you have to piece them together to find a third integral. So in this first integral, it says from 4 to negative 10, 4 to negative 10, the area is negative 3. If you do the reverse, it's a positive 3. So this area here is positive 3. And then it says from 4 to 6 is 5. That's right there. 3 plus 5 is 8. You piece together the areas you need. And then after that, you ask, answer what you're looking for. All right, two more things you need to know. Well, you need to know how to integrate stuff. And we take this form and we simplify it. And, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. x to the 4th over x is just x cubed. And this one is 1 half with an x, 1 over x still. Now I could write this at, as x to the negative 1. However, I know this rule. If you integrate 1 over x, you get ln of x. We can use the reverse power rule here. We can add 1 and divide by 4. So this goes up to 4. 4's go away. However, if I try and add 1 to this, I get x to the 0 divided by 0, which is not allowed. So that's why the reverse power rule does not work here. You have to use integration, or you have to use this integration rule. And the last one I'm going to tell you you need to know are, are problems where you need to find the particular solution. If I take this function and use the power reverse power rule, Add 1, divide by 3. Add 1, divide by 2. Add 1 is x. I have a plus c. But now that I have this function, if I input a 1, 1, 1, 1, the output is 5. Now I can figure out exactly what c is. So I can rewrite it with instead of c here at the end, um, this one right here has a c because we don't know about any constants. This one, we now know what the C is. The C is 2. All right, let's count them up again. Uh, seven problems you need to know. You need to know how to do right Riemann sums. You need to know how to do trapezoids. Summation notation. Area on a graph. And pieces of integrals. And integration. And particular solutions means finding C. All right, your quiz will have eight problems. There will be seven very similar to those ones, and there'll be one more problem that I will choose. All right, hope this helps for your quiz.